730, 92.1, WROI, WROIFM.com. We are streaming audio live on RTC Channel 5. We are streaming audio live on RTC Channel 4. And, hi Scott, by the way. Good morning, Tom. Yes, audio and video, I should say, live on Channel 4. Also streaming on our website and your website, right? Yes, sir. We're streaming all over the place. Everywhere. Oh, everywhere you look, there we are. I like it. Incredible. And if you have a smartphone or an Android device, download the TuneIn Radio app and take us today to First Federal Savings Bank where you'll say good morning to Mr. Dick Belcher. So if you got a dumb phone, you probably can't do much. <laughs> you can't do that on a dumb phone, no. You know, we had Santa Claus yes. here and he, yes. he, has a, he, he was whining about it. Yes, he's got a dumb phone. A dumb phone. Not a smartphone. Yeah, what are you going to do? I don't know. I don't either. Maybe we should upgrade his phone <laughs> come, de <coughs> come December, right? All right. All right. <clears throat> I talked to him the other day about coming again. <laughs> coming back this year? Yeah. Well, wow, good. Yeah. Good deal. Heat index is going to be 95 to 100 today. It will be again, yes. So if you're laying brick, <laughs> be careful. That's right. Make sure you drink plenty of water. You know, there's five or six guys out there yeah. working on that uh, yeah. building, the south side of the building, uh, yeah. at Ninth and Main. That's warm. Aren't you excited to see that go? I though? am excited. Well, I, we've been waiting four and a half years. Yes, we have. <laughs> yeah, and uh, Dave Carr and the mayor just kind of pushed that along. They got her got, done. Got yes, things, they did. Got things happening. Right. Well, the Olympics are on. Continuing. Continuing on. Rio's quite the town. Isn't yeah, it? evidently, yes. Having a good time in Rio. <laughs> wow. Well, uh, I've seen enough of the scenery around Rio. I don't want to go. <laughs> there are a lot of people in Rio, by the way. A lot of people. The United States is doing well, though. 38 medals to date. Well, we get to you go by 50, then he can play in that senior. Yeah, he can. Sure, go on the senior circuit, right? Yeah. Win a few more bucks. Okay, <laughs> a little sports. A Rod's last game today. Last game today. What do you think of that, Scott? Good for him. Good career. <laughs> Good riddance. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the Yankee fans are saying, aren't they? Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, they're not, they're not going to let him play third base today. No, I don't think so. No. What, what position is he going to play? Maybe he'll be the designated hitter. Who knows? Well, that last ball, or if he hits a home run, will be worth a lot of money. It will be. What if he strikes out? <laughs> uh, oh, that's not in the script. Oh, that's not in the script. No, okay. No, no, no. <clears throat> Bears lost to the Broncos last night. Oh my gosh, twenty-two to nothing. Come on, exhibition game. You get no points. You always score points in an exhibition game. I can score points in an exhibition. Always. Purdue could score points in an exhibition Absolutely game. Absolutely yeah. correct. That's right. Well, speaking of Purdue, we got a new AD. Yes. Boy, look out. Okay. I mean, the first thing he's going to do is fire that coach, that football coach. You think so? Yeah. After the season? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe before. <laughs> but uh, we, we have Mitch Daniels' attention now. He oh, got we do. In, he got involved in this selection. Okay. He made a point. To point out that he will be paid in the upper uh, upper uh, quarter percentile okay. of uh, major ads. Okay. Now that's sending a message. Yes, it is for the coaches and coaching. to the ad. Yeah. <laughs> You're getting a lot of money. Do the job now. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, it's the beginning of a. Uh, of an era. New era. You know, I've always said if you're going to take over a job, take over a job that's really on the rock, rock bottom. There's only one way you can go. That's up. That's right, right, Scott? Yes, sir. Is that why you took a job? You got that? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> now I peaked, though. <laughs> okay. okay, now here's one of your favorite subjects St. Anne's Catholic Church. Yes. If you want, is having their 52nd annual. Isn't that amazing? Fish Oldest fry. running fish fry in Fulton County. How about northern Indiana? And northern Indiana, probably, yes. Okay. I say the country until we hear otherwise. I, oh, there you go. I like that. Applications are still being accepted for people interested in becoming members of the 2016-17 Fulton County Leadership Academy. 
Yiska, get in touch with those people uh, at uh, you can call uh, of the Purdue Extension, Mark right. Kepler, or Chamber of Commerce, and they can get you in. They sure it's a, can. It's a great program. It is. It's uh, several weeks, but uh, very informative. A lot of first federal folks have gone through that. That's there. right. I never, I never could get appointed to do really. That. No. I wonder what happened there. I don't know. Wow. Hmm. We'll have to check in with that. See what okay, we need to find out. Okay. Uh, historic tour of I double O F cemetery okay. this Saturday, okay. tomorrow, eleven o'clock. A lot of history there. Well, Shirley knows. A lot Shirley's of history there. The, right. the mayor's gonna portray one of the uh, dead people. And okay. I don't know which one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Shirley comes up with oh, crazy she days. Yes, she? She does. Oh, I got the call. We'll be there filming. <laughs> good. If you're going to do it tomorrow. We are going to film it. Oh, my wow. God. That's good. That's a good thing. When Shirley Willard asks, you just say yes. Yeah. You say no, I, she'll ask again. That's right. Until I, you do I, say I, yes. I, yes, sir. I learned that a long time yes, ago. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> she gets things done. Shirley asks you for money. You say, how much do you want? You yeah, that's right. Okay, the Round Barn Car Truck and Bike Show is August the 20th at the Fulton County Museum. The show includes games and food and serves as a fundraiser for Haunted Woods in October. Excellent. Barbecue chicken will be sold 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. August the 20th at Shepherd's as a part of uh, Feed My Starving Children's Mobile Pack event. We've had them on before. We have. We have. Oh, kind of United Way uh, Day of Caring is Friday, September the 2nd. They started that two or three years ago. It's really a great program. Yes, it is. And uh, if you want to get involved in that way, contact uh, those people well, at United Way at 722 Main Street. And they can help you. There's still time to sign up for the free health and design workshop August the 18th from 9 to 2 at Grace United Methodist Church. We had them on last week. Okay. Talk about that. So. Right. Now I've got a little note here about Loyal. Oh, okay. You know, Loyal is mm -hmm. our bison. Right. That's a distinct right. bear. That's right. Well, they're they're voting on that, which is best. So, well, by by far we have the best. Oh, there. by far. But we don't have the as many votes as some do. Okay. Some metropolitan areas are gang gang. Flooding the ballot box, shall we yeah. say? Yeah. So if you want to vote, and we urge you to do that, go to Fulton County United Way Facebook page. Okay. You click on Fulton County United Way official page link, you will be directed to another page showing a blue box that says Indiana State Fair. Okay. And you can vote every 24 hours. But no, Excellent. No sooner than 24 hours. <clears throat> now there's a prize. Uh, first prize is $3,000 that goes to United Way. Second is $2,000 and $1,000. Huh? So. Uh, United Way can uh, use sure, the, use sure the money can. for that. Sure can. So, okay, after hours uh, is that uh, Dream Vacation uh, with the Tatter mm -hmm. uh, Travel, 331 Main Street. Uh, not sure what date that is. Uh, mm -hmm. Next Thursday, I think. Next week. Also, D Dairy Queen uh, Blacktop Cruisers uh, have 10% off. 10% of the gross goes to the Blacktop Cruisers okay. starting at 4 and they're going to have their uh, their vehicles there. What day is that? Uh, today. Okay, good. Good deal. Yeah, you know, they got a lot of antique cars. They do. They really Blacktop Cruisers do a great job. Yeah. They're a good organization. Now, I bet you didn't know this. Uh, this is the worst champagne year since 1980. Oh no. Did you hear that, Scott? No, there's going to be a run. Oh no. I heard that. <sighs> also, I saw on TV this morning, and we got we got two firsts that have come up. Uh, we have the first nude rooftop bar in London. <laughs> well, but there'll be nobody there because the champagne's bad. <laughs> 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 and also, you, you probably saw last week where Xavier University has the very first pizza dispensing ATM. Really? No, I did not see that. Wow. 
There you go. We were thinking about doing this here, but <laughs> pizza out of yeah. objected. Uh, okay. Yeah. Well, our staff f uh, baking pizzas, probably that's not their long suit. But yeah, so you put in three bucks at Xavier, yeah. wait about three minutes, and there you are. And you got pizza. Mm -hmm. Wow. What will they I think bet of you didn't know that, did you? I mean, what is this world coming to? <laughs> I mean, come on. Pizza dispensing. They had a picture of that nude bar this morning. <laughs> Well, they don't show anything. Oh, okay. It's kind of from the back. Wow, I was kind of worried about that. <laughs> yeah, all right, all right in the summertime. You see, you see that go to the new bar websites or something? I am biting my tongue hard right now, gentlemen. <laughs> okay, uh, Levon and Betty Christinger uh, celebrated their 65th wedding anniversary on August Ah, oh, congratulations to them. Two nice, very nice people. Yeah, that's great. Okay, some flowers. Matthew Mark Market received thirty-five thousand from the Fulton County Community Foundation. That's well deserved too. Uh, the food pantry operated by the Cross Church will use the money to purchase a refrigerated truck to expand its services. Congratulations to that church. Congratulations to the Burkitts because they've all done a wonderful job with that That's whole right. project. Yeah, uh, we need to. I noticed the uh, Rochester Street Department. Watering the flowers yes. this morning. Yes. Look, flowers for that. Yes, indeed. They look, those petunias look really great. They and, do. And well, they can stand the heat. Yeah. Yeah. They make a good politician, wouldn't they? <laughs> <laughs> they would, if they could just talk. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh no, never I don't mind. I think I've heard enough talking. Never mind. <laughs> How many weeks more do we have of this delayed election? 83. Uh, three months, isn't it? I think it's 80. September, it October, days, October, October, October. 84 days. 84 days, something like that. Wow. You heard it here, 84 days. Wow. <clears throat> you media going. people love it. Just you make so going. much money off of these things. I don't see anything coming here, no, but uh, here. the big guys are. The big guys are making a lot of money off of it. Well, you'll get some slough offs. I think so. Yeah. Okay. I'm yeah. going to count on that now. Okay. I'm going to put that in my P&L. <laughs> coming, huh? <laughs> yeah, coming. <laughs> okay. We don't do weeds very often. No, not very often. Delta Airlines. Oh, my goodness. What a what a fiasco. Well, all the airlines, they, they, it appears that they're all about 10 years behind in technology. Well, it was uh, just, what, a month or so ago, Southwest ran into that same problem, yeah. didn't yeah. they? So, uh, yeah, you're right. I mean, uh, a lot of the airlines are facing that. Dang. Well, all the money they're making, I don't know why they don't upgrade their systems. I don't know. Well, can you imagine how much money they've lost over this? How many oh, flights they absolutely. canceled? absolutely. And they've given stipends to these Vouchers, people. sure. Vouchers yeah. that, uh, to all the passengers. Thousands. Yeah. Thousands. Right. Plus the headaches. Okay, so... <clears throat> We got to get that straight. We do. We do. Let's go. We'll go to Atlanta yeah, and take care of that today, right? Any reasonable business has a backup plan. They it didn't plan. work, though. They had one, just didn't work. Okay. Yeah, but that's why you test your generator, for example, at the bank to make sure that's going to work, right? It runs every Thursday noon. Right. Whether we need it or not. Right. But you know no. that way, if you need yeah, it, it's going to work. We put that in about uh, 20 years ago because we had a flood. Right. In the basement. We haven't had a flood since. Well, there you go. Just putting it in. Good keeps, insurance. Keeps it away. <laughs> what do you think about the Dow? It's up. Whew. Still going up. Up 117 yesterday. It's closed at 18,613. Some say it's going to continue to go up. Do you think it is? Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There you go, Scotty. Gives us something to do today. There you go. 20,000 coming. Is it? Okay. Mm-hmm. Interest rates continue to be about flat. Oil was up 4% yesterday. And that helps the stock market, it seems. Yeah, the, the, the stock market, they, they love that. And I see the local prices of gasoline went up about 10 cents. A little bit, yeah. Yeah. What do you think about Macy's closing 100 stores? Their stock went up when they announced that. Well, I guess so. Sure. I mean, they've been hurting. Yeah, now they're gonna, now the stock goes up and everybody's mm -hmm. happy again. Okay, now, the, of course, the, the internet sales is what's killing these. Exactly. Yeah, and Simon's 
that in Indianapolis that owns all these. Right. They're they're being uh, concerned. Yeah. They're nervous. Walmart this week bought Jet.com. Three billion dollars they paid for that. Three point three. Yeah. Yeah. Three and a three and a third billion. Yeah. For Jet. Who people had heard of, but not all that much. I don't you and think. I are making a website this week. Tom. Are we? We're going. We're all right. All right. Sell to Walmart. All right. Well, we got to call like helicopter. It doesn't matter. Gonna, okay, it doesn't make any difference. <laughs> helicopter. Sure. Well, you know something in the aviation. Yeah, helicopter. Yeah. We don't care. Something in the aviation field, right? How about drone. 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 I like it. Yeah. Drone. Good. We're on to something here. Okay. <laughs> well, the point is that Walmart, they've been losing business also. Right. So they they bought a company right. that's, that's their job is selling it uh, online. That's right, sell online. We'll see how that plays out. You know, those people at Walmart weren't born yesterday. No, they're pretty smart, pretty yeah. savvy. Yeah, even if they are from Arkansas. <laughs> yeah. Arkansas had a brilliant governor a few years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Deathly quiet falls on the room. <laughs> okay, first federal, we're open today until 5 o'clock, tomorrow 8.30 to noon, ATM is always open. Our student checking account is for students age 16 to 24. If you uh, just graduated from high school or even college, come in. We'll open account for you. Rates are still really great on uh, mortgage lending. Uh, you might want to take a look at uh, refinancing or we're seeing a lot of construction loans now. People, major remodels, major uh, building new and uh, so that's a good sign. Okay. Delinquencies are down. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. So we got a lot of, a lot of good things going. Borrowers must meet underwriting guidelines. A delivery fee will be applicable to the loan. First Federal is an FDIC insured and an equal housing lender. And our NMLS number is 3999 or 927. Right, got it, got it. Being a military guy, you would understand Niners. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. I've heard it a time or two. You've heard it a time or two. Speaking of uh, military, Gene Manners, welcome. We're glad to have you with, representing the. Uh, uh, you're the finance officer of American Legion here in Rochester. Yes, I am. I uh, uh, thank you very much, Dick, for the opportunity to come and speak about the program that we're uh, sponsoring here. Okay, tell us about this pro program. Okay, well, that you're the program is uh, uh, being sponsored by. The American Legion Post 36 here in Rochester. It's a, a called the Adapted Housing Grant Program. It is for veterans that have an, uh, that have a disability that are needing uh, assistance on um, doing a, a number of things. Um, for example, if they needed a ramp or they needed to do some remodeling in their kitchen or widen doors or whatever in their home uh, they can apply for this and it is a grant it is not a loan and uh, we are trying to uh, our intentions is to do this on a matching funds basis however if we have a veteran that comes to us uh, it'll be on an individual basis if we have a veteran that comes to us that uh, uh, just absolutely doesn't have any funds and no way of obtaining them we'll take a look at it and try and, and fund the, the uh, project itself this is a great program it's meant for veterans of Fulton County Fulton County only are, are eligible to apply for this and uh, it's open to all veterans you don't have to be uh, uh, a member of any post or uh, VFW or American Legion or anything else it's just open to veterans it's kind of unique the way this came about and um, uh, some of the names I know you know is Casey Coles is the one that brought this to me she's in our planning commission and uh, she brought it to the post she's a very good and active member of ladies auxiliary at the American Legion and uh, caught me one afternoon and was telling me about it and, and selling the program and I thought it would 
was a great, great program, sounded like it. And I guess her and Dick, uh, or um, Rick Faust, our VA service officer here in Fulton County, they had been talking about it because there had been several various veterans that had came in trying to see if they could figure out some funds to help them with this kind of a program. And uh, uh, How long ago was this that she contacted? It, this, we started this just last uh, October. Oh, okay. You're really new. Okay. We're really new, yes. Where are you and, getting uh, the funding? Well, we've, uh, we've been very fortunate. Uh, we, the American Legion, made a, a major contribution to it. The uh, VFW Post 1343, they made a, uh, a contribution, a sizable contribution, as did the Eagles and, and the Moose and the Elks. So most of your lodges and participating clubs have. We've also gotten some uh, nice contributions from individuals. And any contribution, by the way, is welcome. It doesn't have to be, uh, we have a, uh, a contributor that most of you would know, and I don't know if she wanted me to let her name out, but anyway, she she makes a contribution about once a month and, and of a, like a hundred dollars, and sure. she just it's just a wonderful thing she's doing, and uh, uh, it's something that we could we can always use. If you anyone that was interested in making a contribution can either go online and do it at the Community Foundation here in, in uh, Rochester, or you can stop by their office and just tell them that you're making it for the uh, Adapted Housing Grant Program. And we uh, uh, have have had all sizes of contributions, everything from a $10. Everything's important, isn't it? Everything. Right, everything. everything's important because the demand is there. Yeah, and we've, we've been very fortunate in the fact that uh, from just inception of no dollars at all, we're all, we're at almost eleven thousand dollars. Excellent. Now. And uh, just that in itself, I think, is is says something for this community. Absolutely. Uh, it's a very generous community, and uh, people want to help other people, and that's that is very important to us, and that's what the American Legion is all about. Uh, there's a misconception of the American Legion, and I think a lot of times and, and various different clubs that all we do is get together and tell little stories. And then well, they're also, Yeah, but the stories get better. <laughs> they, <laughs> as it gets older, the, as we get older, they get yeah, better. Absolutely. <laughs> and speaking of that, I understand you're a veteran, sir. I am. I hear you was in the 101st? I was, yeah. My job was to take care of the women and children as the other went off and fought to the war. That, you know, that's, that, that's an admirable job. We were between, <laughs> I was between the Vietnam and Korea, so. Well, thank you for your service. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, we, it's greatly appreciated, and I'd like to encourage anyone, everyone, and any veteran out there that's in need of, of this grant. We are accepting applications at this point. Get those at the Legion? You can get them at the Legion okay. or at the Community Foundation. Okay. Either one. Okay. Uh, you can stop by the Legion Post or call and request one. We'll send it out to you. Um, or stop if you're uh, internet savvy. You can go online to the Community Foundation and download it from there. It's available on their website. And we're looking forward to making this work for everybody. And uh, it's a, it's just a. I think it's a very admirable very great program. It's something that the American Legion is, is committed to, to better the community and to, to help out our veterans. We're speaking this morning to Gene Manners, who's the finance officer of the local American Legion. Now, I know you guys down there do a lot of other things, and one of the recent things you did has uh, committed to take over the fireworks. Yes, we did. Tell us about that. And okay. Why, that's, a, that's a big deal. What was your motivation? <laughs> well, Amy Rowe was motivation. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but she, uh, she came in another one of those deals where I got trapped 
on one afternoon she came in and was telling her story and maybe you shouldn't go down I, maybe I'm, I'm thinking that I, either that or i look awful uh, uh well, easy yeah. <laughs> easy touch here but she uh she came in and started telling us about it and then her and uh, mayor denton uh came in and presented it at a meeting and uh, it seemed like it seemed like a good fit for us uh, considering the fact that uh, the, the 4th of July is a patriotic holiday. It has more than just the meaning of setting off some firecrackers and shooting off fireworks, but uh, a lot more meaning. And I think we lose sight of that sometimes in our life. Uh, you know, for, I mean, we do that with Memorial Day. That's just a three-day sure. three uh, holiday to people anymore, and, and they lose sight of what it's a, actually about. So as we got into this, uh, they, uh, Amy, Amy, if it hadn't been for her and Kelly, um, they, they walked us through it and helped us, helped me through it. And uh, it uh, turned out to be, I think, a success. I, Very much so. I haven't heard anybody that complained about it and uh, uh, I think it went off pretty good. So this next year, this was our first year at it. Uh, we're I'm going to work on raising funds for that too. We're still looking. <laughs> where it seems like we're always looking for contributors for everything, but um, we're looking for contributors for that also. Uh, it is a kind of an expensive it is. project, right. to say the least. Well, it's about ten or twelve thousand. About ten grand. Yes. Yeah, and. Uh, uh, the city of Rochester has been great. They ponied up and went five on it, and, uh, and so did the Manitow Lake Association. They uh, ponied up and made a big contribution, and uh, we had a lot of individual contributions come in. I had contributions come in from people, from, actually from Kokomo and, and different. Excellent. Out, out, Excellent. You know, I'm sure that they had a place on the lake or something sure. and enjoyed it. And, and, uh, and again, it's not necessarily the size of the contribution. It's just making that contribution. It's just making board. the contribution, right. yes. Again, in that particular case, we've had a, a $5 contribution. Sure. And, you know, I mean, it's uh, it's not the size. It's right. just the man. It's the number. <laughs> getting people involved. It right. is. Yeah. yeah. Getting the people involved and, and joining it. So. Okay. Uh, any other uh, things that, that you'd like to talk about? This happens at the American Legion in the next uh, 30 seconds. Well, those, <laughs> those are about the, the two most important things that are going on. I'd like to encourage everyone that uh, if they have a, a veteran that's in need to contact us and apply for this. Uh, if not, uh, if you have a, a veteran that has passed away, the adapted housing program would be a great uh, commemorative to them. Okay, excellent idea. So. Uh, just come on in and contribute. Okay, Gene Manners, who is the financial officer of the American Legion here locally, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for the great work you do for the veterans and, and for our community. Picking up the fireworks is a great move, and uh, people that would like to contribute to the adopted housing grant uh, may do so, do so through the Fulton County Foundation. Gene, I think we need to mention uh, what your shirt says because I think it's so appropriate. It's uh, Indiana American Legion. Remember the past, look to the future. That's correct. And uh, that's a great, that's a great motto, great it, slogan. It is. Uh, you know, if we don't remember the past, right. Tom, I mean, uh, we'll we'll not have a future. Well said. Okay, our trivia this morning was: uh, How many members are there uh, of the U.S. Olympic team? Are there 178? 375 or 554? How many? 375. Yeah, I think so. No. 554? I'm going low now. I'm going high. 554. Okay. Right, Lots it. of them. Okay. Now, <laughs> China, China is the second largest. Okay. They have 289. Oh, wow. I mean, they're less than half. Right. So, that's, well, we should get more medals. Just well, we have more people, right? right? Okay, let's close with this statement by Mary Lou Ritten. Mm -hmm. Remember her? Yeah, she gymnast. was a gymnast. Yeah. Yeah. She says, as simple as it sounds, we all must try to be the best person we can. 
by making the best choices, by making the most of the talents we've been given. Well said, Dick Belcher, thank you very much. Gene Manners, thank you for being here. Thank Scott, you, as always, pleasure to see you on Friday morning.